what I'd like to talk about is the one weird trick to neuter the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. I was trying to think of ways to circumvent NPV because it just seems like a dirty trick. Working around the election rules that set up the Electoral College, there are reasons the Electoral College exists. We are, we don't elect the president by popular vote, we elect the president by the votes of the states, and the votes of the states are determined by the votes of the people in those states. <clears throat> so what's very funny about this is that you're trying to circumvent something that is set up in the Constitution. It's been a fundamental part of our government for over two centuries now. I think two and a half at this point almost. Uh, or after, yeah, no, not quite two and a half. So national popular vote, they're trying to get states to sign on to this deal where all of the states that have signed on will assign all of their electoral votes to whatever candidate wins the popular vote across the country. So basically, Donald Trump got elected because of the Electoral College giving him more votes than Hillary Clinton. <clears throat> so that's indisputable. And uh, they say he lost the popular vote. Well, if we were a nation where the president was elected by popular vote, then that would be absolutely correct. He lost the popular vote. But he didn't lose the vote that matters, which is the electoral vote. So National Popular Vote wants to fix this problem. Note, it's only a problem because Democrats are losing uh, positions due to the existence of the Electoral College, so they would like to do away with it now so that Hillary, um, or future Hillary's, could be president. Um, and that's wrong. That's undermining an institution. They're doing it without a constitutional amendment. So once enough states sign on to this, uh, basically the Electoral College is neutered because all you need is enough states to get at least half of the electoral votes plus one, I ignoring any constitutional questions. How can we make the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact non-functional so that even if it gets passed by these states that are trying to sabotage constitutional systems without going through the proper channels to do so uh, legally, how can we kill it? And the solution is deceptively simple. It's so simple that it amazes me that no one seems to have mentioned this anywhere that I can find. To kill the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact, all you have to do is make it so that the states have no way of knowing what the popular vote is until the election decisions have been made. All you have to do is make it so the states don't get the popular vote count before the election's been decided by the electoral vote. <clears throat> so states turn in their electoral votes first then the election is decided by that electoral vote and then of course uh, the popular vote count would be well irrelevant at that point because the electoral votes have to be cast first before anyone can get a popular vote so a federal law requiring that no one disclose the results of an official election um, of an official presidential election, uh, no one release any of the popular votes until the electoral votes have already been handed in, ends the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact for good. And it wouldn't matter what they did, because they wouldn't have access to the popular vote in the first place, they would no longer be able to do the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact thing as there would be no popular vote with which to allocate the electoral votes. You create a deadlock in the system. NPV requires that all electoral votes be assigned based on the national popular vote counts, but this would require that electoral vote counts be in before any state is allowed to disclose the official popular vote results of the polls. 
There may be problems with this system. It may be unconstitutional as well. It may have some sort of other blockage that will prevent it from being implemented. But I think that in general, it's a pretty clever way to kill NPV if it manages to get passed by enough states. Because then you've got a crisis. See, with the deadlock like that, the states will not give out electoral votes until they hear the popular vote, but no states are allowed to disclose the popular vote. So, because you can't just not have the election proceed, something would have to be done. I think it would be freaking hilarious. Have a good day, and I'll look at the clouds for you. Bye-bye.